give us a little bit extra with this weather, yeah, will you? Yeah, well, you know, whenever you mention <laughs> flurries, people get excited. Yeah, more on that coming up. Well, first, let's take a live look right now in Aniston, where you can see that fog. This is a very beautiful shot as the sun is starting to rise. We do have that dense fog advisory in effect, and it just looks a little chilly outside, and it is much cooler than yesterday, about 10 degrees difference from this morning compared to yesterday morning. Now, I do want to check in with our weather watchers. We just got a report in Concord where it is 40 degrees, also some dense fog in Jefferson County. So that's why we do have that dense fog advisory in effect until 9 this morning. Temperatures in the low 40s all across the map, some upper 30s in Gadsden and Jasper, also in Tuscaloosa, Fayette, Hamilton. You're all in the 30s right now. Now, once this fog gets out of here, we will remain partly cloudy skies today. Not quite as gloomy as yesterday, but temperatures will still be in the upper 60s, even some low 70s potentially today and tomorrow. So just unseasonably warm, but all that is going to be changing by the middle of next week. No rain to worry about right now, not too much on the way of cloud cover at the moment. We will get a break in the clouds by this afternoon, but then clouds will start to stream in here overnight, which will keep temperatures a little mild. Tomorrow morning will be in the upper 40s, low 50s. And then tomorrow we are in store for quite the warm up. Notice temperatures by tomorrow afternoon will be in the low 70s in some spots like Tuscaloosa at 71 for your afternoon high tomorrow. Then winds start to shift down to the south ahead of this cold front that's going to start to track through the state through the day on Tuesday. So it looks like this will be through through pretty soggy a day. Tuesday, we could see a few showers in the morning and then better rain chances through the afternoon on Tuesday. The biggest threat with this cold front is the rainfall totals. We will see a good bit of rain, about one inch and up for some spots. Behind that front, we could see a few showers and thunderstorms, and then much cooler air is going to funnel in here through the rest of the week. But today, we are going to stay very unseasonably warm for the Christmas festivities. The Mountain Berks having their parade at 3. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s, so not going to need that heavy jacket for that game. Now I did, or the parade. Now not, I did mention the flurries. We could see a flurry or two Friday night into Saturday. Not a huge snowstorm, but I do want to mention the small chance right now. We'll keep an eye on that for you because everyone gets all excited when we start talking about snow. And there is that potential Friday night into Saturday. Well, we have very chilly temperatures by the end of the week, Alex. Yeah.